Hey guys, Buffalo here. Uh, back in January, I made a video and, and let you guys know that I was going to start getting my feet wet shooting some competitions like Steel Challenge and USPSA. And I told you guys we'd take a look at some of the gear I choose as we go along. So today I'm finally getting a chance to do some of that and we're going to take a look at a holster I've been using. All right, I just wanted to make a short video showing this holster I picked up recently. It's a Blade Tech outside the waistband holster. It's a real sturdy construction. It's uh, the retention's at the trigger guard. Real easy to adjust via two Phillips head screws there. It's an open muzzle design. Now I chose the one with the dropped and offset attachment. Now, th these holsters are kind of modular. You can take that attachment out and, and wear it like a regular belt mounted uh, holster. But I chose the dropped and offset that kind of sets the grip of the pistol away from my body a little bit. Make it, uh, makes it easier to draw and easier is faster if you're shooting competitions. But uh, it's also got what they call the adjustable stingray loop attachment for the belt. It's real easy to adjust. You just take a flat screwdriver and, and pop that piece up, move it up and down to wherever you want it. But it fits holster or it fits belts from one and a quarter inches wide up to two and a quarter inches wide. And it is adjustable for three different positions. If you like your gun canted forward or back, I prefer mine straight up and down. All right, I got the old Glock 34 here. As you can see, it gives you plenty of room for a draw. Really like that. It's made me uh, quite a bit faster and I get a better grip. When I had the holster up here high and tight with my old holster, it was hard to get a good grip coming out, so I found myself trying to adjust as I was on my draw stroke, but now I can get a really good grip before I ever get the pistol out of the holster. And here's what it looks like from behind. Again, you can see the gap here. Now it does just meet, there's a two inch rule in USPSA. It has to, from the inside of your inner belt, to the closest part of the grip of the gun and it does meet that right at it actually uh, now if you were just running a single belt you wouldn't have any trouble whatsoever but you'll have to watch if you're running a double belt just to make sure you do meet that two inch but again as you can see from that angle plenty of room to get a good grip on a pistol all right just giving you one more angle here that's what the uh, holster looks like from the side pistol just falls right in. Now I've got the retention backed off where it's really loose, really easy to draw. You can always squeeze that down, tighten it up if you like a tighter retention. It's a great holster for competition or uh, just just a range holster. If you don't shoot competition, just want a good outside the waistband holster, I'd, I'd definitely recommend this. I really like it. I think it'll hold up, last a long time. Probably outlast me. Alright guys, so I'm sitting there at the computer editing and preparing to upload this video about a competition holster that I just got and the mail lady comes knocking and, and delivers to me the holster that Mark sent me from over at MPG 827. It's a, uh, it's a 5197 Safari Land for a 1911. Mark, man, I really appreciate that. It, it's pretty neat. That's the first thing I've ever really won. He also threw in a knife which I really needed I use a lot of knives I end up uh, breaking the blades out of them pretty hard on them pretty cool little knife he sent me appreciate that mark you guys go over and check his channel out if especially if you're watching this video because you were looking for a competition holster man he posts all kinds of videos of shoots that he goes to he's a range officer he's really knowledgeable He's one of the few that have uh, that kind of pushed me into starting competitions. So, you know, subscribe to his channel if you want to watch somebody that knows what they're talking about. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to be watching a newbie getting started. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again soon.